I would go and do some research in your area and see what other uh, places are charging, whether it's CrossFit or uh, I think it's F45, uh, Orange Theory. It's going to be somewhere probably between, you know, $100 on the low end. Maybe Club Pilates might be, you know, on the high end, you know, 247 to 297 on the high end. You don't necessarily need to be the highest, but you need to be like maybe right under the highest. So if like Club Pilates or if there's like some really high end, maybe small group training or something like that, uh, 297 or 347, then I, you know, come in at like 247. You never want to be on the low end ever and you never want to be competing on price. Um, and the other thing to consider when thinking about how much to charge is how much that you believe it's worth. Because if you try to charge more and in your mind you're like, this, nobody's going to pay that. It's going to come across in your sales you know, presentation. People are going to be able to feel that and they're not going to pay it. They're not going to believe it either if you don't believe it. It's going to come across. If you come across that 247 is a steal, then you're going to be able to sell that all day long. It's going to be easy. So if you can't sell it at 247 because you just don't believe that it's worth that, you're better off going down to 197 or even 147. Now when it comes to like structure, you want to make sure that you don't give them too many options. When you sit, when you sit across a table from somebody and you're about ready to give them their options if they want to continue and you're like, we can come in twice a week for this month, three times a week for this month, unlimited for this month, twice a week for six months is this month, twice a week for a year is this month, you know, three times a week for six months is this much, three months for a year is this much, unlimited for six months is this much, and unlimited for a year is this much, they're gonna look, throw their hands up and just walk out. Like, I have no idea what I need to do, what I should be doing. I personally like two choices with one obvious choice. So what we personally do is 247, you know, for month to month, and that's unlimited sessions. Or they can do 197, which is saving them $50 a month or $600 on the year, and that's for 12 consecutive months. And they can always, you know, back out of this at uh, this one. So if they uh, are like three or four months into their program and they decide they can't, you know, finish for, what, for whatever reason then we allow them to switch it to a month to month program. But when they switch to a month to month program, they have to backdate it to the, when they started and pay the difference of $50 per month in order, you know, in order to cancel. Um, or, they can, or they can finish out the 12 months. So if they're on like month nine, it's gonna be more affordable for them just to pay out the rest of the 12 months and then be done with it. Um, so that way, if they're like, well, I just wanna do like a month or two and then decide if I wanna do the 12 months, if they did this one, they would pay 247 for month one, 247 for month two, and then if they wanted to switch, they would end up paying, overpaying $100 that you're not just gonna give it back to them. They would have to start 12 months from month three at the 197. On the flip side, if they did 197 for two months and then decided they wanted to cancel, then they'd only have to pay $100, which would make it equal to 247 you know, for month one, 247 for month two. So they never pay more than a month to month rate. So the obvious choice, everybody, nine out of 10 people, unless they just know that they're only gonna be here for a month, they don't wanna deal with it you know, anymore, and they tell you up front, like I'm only here for a month and then I'm going back home or I'm moving or something like that. The obvious choice is the 12 consecutive months of the 197. This is what, we've, and we've tested six months, we've tested even 18 months. Um, so personally, this is what's worked the best for us. So as you're transitioning, take some of this stuff you know, into account when you're pricing and structuring you know, your group training program.